This is Valmiki Ramayan, Season 5, Episode 3, Meeting Hanuman and Sugriv. Hanuman went up to Ram and Lakshman and introduced himself as the emissary of Sugriv, the leader of the Vanaras. He first cordially engaged them in a conversation and then asked them who they were and what brought them to Rishyamuk. Lakshman said, We come as friends. Ram is the eldest son of the great king Dasharath. He is the most capable among all of us brothers and was said to be crowned as Yuvaraj. But for some reason, he was exiled and sent into the forest. His wife Sita came with him and I came as well to support them. Drawn by Ram's virtues, I am like his servant. Gunaihi Dasya Mupagataha Sita was kidnapped by a Rakshas. We were told that Sugriv would be able to help us find her. Sarvalokasya Dharmatma Sharanya Sharanampura Gurur Me Raghavas Soyam Sugrivam Sharanangata Ram who always follows dharma and was earlier the refuge for the whole world, now seeks refuge and help from Sugriv. Hanuman exclaimed, I am so happy to have met you too. Sugriv needs help too. His brother Vali has banished him from the kingdom and has forcibly taken his wife. Sugriv will certainly help you. Let me take you to him. As we read the Ramayan, we will witness the deep bond that develops between Ram and Hanuman. This was the first time they had met. And Ram was very impressed with this Vanar. He remarked to Lakshman, Any king would be lucky to have an envoy like Hanuman. His grammar and pronunciation are perfect. His expressions are most apt. He conveys appropriately with his face, eyes, eyebrows, forehead and also the rest of his body. His sentences are precise. There is no ambiguity. He does not hum and haw. He speaks without unnecessary breaks. Avistaram asandigdham avilambitam his intonation is perfect and the overall pitch is neither too high nor too low. And he is so engaging and convincing that he can bring around even an enemy. Note how Valmiki has slipped into his narration this short lesson on good oral communication. Further, Ram recognized that anyone who could speak like this must be very learned. Nan Rigveda Vinitasya, Na Yajurveda Dharinah, Na Samaveda Vidushah, Shakyamevam Vibhashitum. It is not possible to be so articulate unless one is well versed in the Rigveda, Yajurveda, and Samaveda. Hanuman took them to meet Sugriv and told Sugriv their story. He concluded by saying, These two brothers, Ram and Lakshman, seek your friendship. I suggest you accept their proposition. Sukhriv replied to Ram, I am truly honoured by your proposal. I offer you my hand as a friend. Please accept it. Ram held his hand and embraced him. Hastam Pidaya Masapanina Paryashwajata. Hanuman then lit a fire by rubbing two sticks and made an offering of flowers. Sukriv and Ram went around the fire, did a pradakshina to solemnize their bond of friendship. Note this practice of doing a pradakshina around Agni, fire, was common among the Vanaras and the city dwellers. Even today, 
promises like marriage vows are made in agni's presence sukriv said from now on my dear friend all your joys and sorrows are mine later sukriv requested ram my brother wali has thrown me out of the kingdom and forcibly taken my wife i live in his fear all the time please help me ram assured him valinantam vadhishyami tava bharya paharinam i will kill this wali who has abducted your wife very important words ram makes it clear that he was against wali for what wali had done to sugreev's wife and not for any other reason sugreev was pleased at that moment valmiki says sita's left eye which was like a lotus wali's left eye which glittered like gold and ravan's left eye which was blazing like fire twitched at the same time what a beautiful way of saying that this alliance between ram and sugreev had huge implications for all three sita wali and ravan sugreev then continued my senior minister hanuman has told me all about why you are here i will help you get sita back wherever she may be don't worry about it in fact the other day i saw a lady being carried away by a rakshas she was trying to free herself from his grip and was crying o oh ram o oh lakshman anumanat tu janami maithili sa na saunshaya she must have been sita no doubt she saw me too and dropped some ornaments wrapped in a cloth i have kept those ornaments let me get them and you can check if they are hers ram replied anayasva sakhe shigram kimartham pravilambase so get them quickly my friend what are you waiting for sukri fetched the ornaments they were wrapped in sita's uttariya a part of her dress ram took them and slumped to the ground clutching them to his heart tears clouded his eyes and then hissing with anger he told sugreev just find out for me where that rakshas has taken sita atmano jeevitantaya mrutya dwaram apavrutam he has opened the gates of death for himself turning to lakshman his voice choking with emotion ram said look sita's jewelry surprisingly lakshman replies that he does not recognize some of the jewelry lakshman's answer has been celebrated in numerous literary works paintings frescoes and sculptures to understand its full significance remember what sita had last said to him when in a fit of anger she had accused him of having an eye on her now with these words he put to rest any questions about his character na hum jana mi ke yure na hum jana mi kundale nupure tva bi jana mi nityam pada bhivandanat i do not recognize these arm bands i also cannot recognize these earrings but i do recognize these anklets for i have always bowed at her feet iti ha asa that is how it happened